Hi, Yas. Tracy back from Macken House. How are you all doing? <laughs> I hope you're all doing great. It's Timu Day. <laughs> Who doesn't love a bit of a Timu? So, I've got big Timu delivery today. So, we best just get into it, eh? Let's get started. This is first run. Now, I've ordered three of these. They're solar lights and they're called firefly lights. And they're called firefly lights because they bob around like little fireflies at night. <laughs> so here's the solar panel. Let's make sure I take off the <laughs> plastic covering. Okay, got that off. So there's the solar panel. And this set has got eight little bulbs attached to it. I think there's one that's got six and there's one that's got ten. And I just went for the middle and went for eight. And you sort of, you can sort of bend them a little bit. Now, I stuck two of them in pots out the back so that I could let them charge for a couple of days. I mean, I like them. Let me show you the vid. Let's show you the vid that I did for these lights. Here's the little lights in the pot. And when they blow in the breeze, they're supposed to look like fireflies, which is why they're called firefly lights. Now they have got, let's go in, different settings. So you've got, Flashing. That's a little bit much, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go again. What's that one? Is that the always on setting? Oh, I like that one. Whereas this one sort of fades out after a little while. Let's pick another setting. That's the flash. And that must be the always on. I like them. And they got... Yeah, there's eight little bulbs on this. Now, I stuck them out here earlier, just so they got a bit of a charge. And they've done all right. What other settings have they got? Um, <laughs> can't find them out, there it is. So we've got like a ripply light effect. Um, that's like it comes on in, in different clumps. <laughs> what have we got? It's like faded on in clumps. We've got four on at the moment. And then they fade out. And then the other four come on. So, okay. Uh, that's like a disco. <laughs> and what's this one? Slowly fade. Uh, mad disco. <laughs> what's that one? Um. I think that's not always on. Ooh, I like them. So, as you can see from the vid, um, they look good in the pot. I mean, my pots need sorting out and everything like that. It was just to show you what it was like once it's been recharged. I, I mean, it came on that day. We've not really had a lot of sun here lately so i don't suppose they've had a brilliant charge but i've noticed that they sit they come on at nightfall and then i reckon they only last about four hours before they're sort of faded too much i still like them though so i'm gonna put this this one in another pot I might collect a few more and put them all in my pots. <laughs> but, yeah, 
yeah, not too bad. It would have been nice if they lasted a little bit longer. But oh, we haven't really had the sun, so I can't really say they're completely rubbish. Where can I put it? I don't know where to put you. Let's put it there. <laughs> yeah, they're not completely rubbish. Um, for two pounds something, I think that's all they were. <laughs> I think that's a bargain, personally. What's next? <laughs> oh! It's a meat thermometer. Now, I don't have one of these. So I thought, especially as I'm using my air fryer a lot more now, I wanted uh, a thermometer. Just so that I can check on the chicken. All right, so we've got an on off. Is that how cold I am? <laughs> no, it's got a little thingy on the entrance. <sighs> okay, my breath is 19. <laughs> okay. Well, it's got centigrade, centi and Fahrenheit. So it's got both, depending on what you want to use. Straightforward. What's hold mean? Does that mean it holds the temperature? Don't know. Yeah, I suppose so. Bit weird though, eh? So, straightforward. I needed one and I thought, I saw it and I thought I'd give it a go. That one looks good to me. I won't know until I fully try it out. <sighs> It does 50 degrees centigrade right up to 300 degrees, or that's 58 Fahrenheit to 572 Fahrenheit. It's got a, it says it, the accuracy is plus or minus one centigrade or Fahrenheit. Okay. Ta -da. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I bought pot holders and there's four in this pack padded little pot holders one two three four they're very nice very thick we'll have to try them out but they look good to me they're not huge for sure that is about just get me ruler out i never check when i buy these things <laughs> Uh, that is about six and a half inch. Yeah, six and a half inch squared. That is. It's big enough to pick up a pot. Nice. They feel good. So I like them. They're good. What's next? Okay. Bring out my paperwork. I saw this and I thought, <laughs> I wonder if it'll fit my toaster. It's supposed to be like a dust cover for a toaster. And I've got a two slot toaster, so I thought I'd buy this. Let's go try it, shall we? Let's go try it right now. All right, so we're in my kitchen. <laughs> la, la, let's go over here. Here's my toaster, and there's the little rubber silicon. Now, I'd say it fits, it does its job. I mean, it could have been a bit bigger, but hey, at least it fits like that. <laughs> Done. Okay, that fitted okay. <laughs> right, this is the next one. Next one is an oven liner. Straightforward. Ta -da! Zoop. Just to save you cleaning the bottom of the oven. So I bought one that I can leave behind in this oven. How big is it? I don't know. Let's have a measure. 
don't know, it's over 30. It's past my ruler size. <laughs> I don't know. 12, 13, 14, 15, maybe 16 inch. Yes. I'll try it in my oven and if it doesn't fit, I'll slot it in the fact that it doesn't fit here. But that, sh that looks like it'll fit perfectly in my little single oven. What's next? Now, we've done these before. These are magnetic frames. But I wanted some more. <laughs> I love these magnetic frames. I just like the fact that you can buy a canvas or you can print out a picture. <sighs> See how they got the little magnet? Help them stick together. And you got top and bottom. We have showed these before. This one is, I think this is 16 inch. I think. Is it? Yeah. I've got a 16 inch one. And I also bought a 20 inch one. Same thing. I won't take it out of the packet. It's exactly the same, but it's 20 inch. <laughs> but this one I loved. Mm. I think this one is 20 inch. Hence why I bought the, the 20 inch magnetic frame to go with this one. So let's get the slasher out so I can open it. Don't cut it, Chase. <laughs> damn it, damn it. And this one is for in here. <laughs> it is the pink panther. <laughs> I think he's so cool. He's the rinkity panther. <laughs> and he's graffiti. So, yeah, he's going up. I'm going to put him in his little magnetics and then we'll sh I'll show you it here. Here's Monty. <laughs> now, my room's a little messy. <laughs> That's all the stuff that we've yet to go through up there. And this is where I put the pink panther. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I really like him. Yeah, <laughs> he's cool. So that's Mr. Pink Panther. So we've got that. And the reason why I bought two more is I saw this. It's called Naked Lady. Um, it reminded me of the Matisse, which is what I've got in my bedroom. I've got three Matisses already framed in my bedroom. And I saw this one and it reminded me of the same thing. Can you see it? It's called Naked Lady and I thought I'd put that and it's like a canvasy print. I love these canvases and that's why I got this. So what I'll do is I'll put it in the frame and then I'll show you. Okay, here it is. I've put it in the frame in the hangers. And then I've just uh, quickly took down my pink panther and hung it there for now, but it's going to go in my bedroom. Let me show you the the um, Matisse's pictures that I've got in here. Look, there they are. That looks like it, doesn't it? I think it does. So I think I'm going to hang it here. Right, let's go back. Okay. <laughs> Next. I went a little bit mad with the pictures. <laughs> now I bought these. Oh, let me get Slasher out because this is a little bit hard to get into this one. I couldn't resist these when I saw them. I don't actually have anywhere to hang them at the moment at this place. 
but I still want you to get one. Open them out and show you. Okay, this is gosh, this is the first one. So it's it's sort of black. It's like a brown black, and. For some reason, there's a lot of them. There's two of that one. <laughs> yeah, they're the same, aren't they? Yeah. So there's two of those. I'm not sure why I've got two of them. And then there's... This one. Aren't they supposed to be three different flowers? Or my not seeing that right oh they they are different look the little flower is that side and then the little flower is that side so they are different and that is the last flower i just thought they were really pretty they're black with gold sort of like wiry flowers. I love them. I thought they were really nice. So I couldn't resist but getting them. I like them. <laughs> what size are they? I'll have to put the sizes and everything in the description. Because <laughs> that is. Oh, that's a good 16 inch wide, these ones. You can get them in different sizes, of course. But I got them. Onwards. <laughs> Next is this. <laughs> oh, needs slasher again. Slasher this towel. Let's keep this open. Now, it didn't come in a bag, just wrapped in this polystyrene. Did it open? Okay. Take it out. And here she is. This is what I bought. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, slippy kitty, purr, purr, purr. <laughs> I know, mad, aren't I? But oh, yeah, one of my favourite TV series was Big Bang Theory, and I just had to have that, so I got myself a cup. <laughs> Love it. That's definitely staying. <laughs> Got little bits of polystyrene all over me now. Next. I fancied <laughs> making some jelly mould things. I was watching one of my favourite YouTubers is um, Laura from Garden Answers. <laughs> I love watching. And she made some little jelly sweets. And it gave me the urge to buy like a gummy bear mould. And make my own. <laughs> so this is the little mould. Cute. Don't know if it works. I haven't tried it out yet. There's no reason why it wouldn't. It's soft silicon. So I bought that. Cute. Gonna have fun with that, I think. Let's put that in my cup. Soft kitty, you know, stop. No chicken. And then I found these. Now I clip everything <laughs> that comes in a bag for the kitchen. And I saw these were on offer. I tend to buy a lot of things when it's in the lightning sale. I wait until things go down to pence. <laughs> 
and these three T clips were in the lightning cell. Now they're quite tough, but they'll keep shut like bags of crisps and bags of peanuts and things like that, which is what I got. You can never have enough clips for the kitchen. Thinking about my little gummy bears, I bought a melting pot. Now this is a chocolate melting pot, just in case I make chocolate bears. <laughs> so it's got like a little lid, and you put it in the microwave. You melt the chocolate in the microwave and it's got like a little pouring spout, so hopefully I'll be able to get them in those tiny little teddy bears. <laughs> Microwave melting pot. And I saw these and I thought, just in case, if I do the jelly bears, which is, I'm definitely going to do some jelly bears, pipettes might be the way to go to fill the fluid into each of the bears. So I bought those while they were on offer. And there's three in the pack there. That should help me fill up the bears. So there's them. And then I saw this, and I've got um, a toothpick box, and it, the box is pretty ugly. So I saw this, and I thought, yeah, while I'm at it, I'll have it. And it's just a clear, transparent toothpick box. So that'll go in the kitchen with all my toothpicks and I'll throw the old grotty box away that I've got. <laughs> nice. What's next? Another kitchen one. We could have made like two hauls out of these. We could have done one kitchen haul. <laughs> I was going to buy a burger press because I like my own burgers. And I thought... I've had one of those little burger squasher plastic presses before and then I couldn't get the burger out of the press. So I thought I would get one where I just manually squash it to make it into a light, light squash patty. Ooh, get a bit. It's pretty big. How big is this? This is, oh, it's over six inch. Just over six inch it is on the curve. On the flat side, flat to flat is six inch, and this is just over six inch. It's really solid metal. Yeah, that's nice. So that should squash the old patties down no problem. Or hold down curly bacon when you're frying it. <laughs> but I bought it for burger making. And now I also bought, to go with this, it's funny how it came in a box. <laughs> it's metal. Shouldn't have got a squash in a box. All right, let me see if I can find them. Yes. <laughs> Amongst my pile. I thought while I'm making burgers, I'll get the um, greaseproof paper so that I can make the burgers, put this in between them and then freeze them. So I bought these papers at the same time. Saves me cutting them out in circles. And there's a hundred here. How wide are these? Um, about four and a half inch. So these are about four and a half inch, these ones. And they're just greaseproof paper that's sticking between the burgers. So I've got them to go together. Nice. That's good. You over there what's next I bought the same thing but in two different ways <laughs> by accident I'll show you them both but what I'll do is probably keep one and send one back and they're orchid clips so I'm getting a little bit obsessed with orchids <laughs> at the moment and these are very small orchid clips Take one out. Gosh, I don't know if they're too small. So that's how big they're quite small. I don't know if they're too small. They, I mean, they feel all right. 
Hmm. That's that one. And that one is uh, the standard pack of Orchid Clips. And then I've got ones that got like little flowers on them. I can open it up. Hello. Oh, there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> open it up. And there's. Oh, they look a little bit bigger. And they got like a little flower detail. So I think it's these that I'm going to keep because they're a bit bigger and the spring feels nice and tight. And I think the other ones I'm going to send back. They're going to go back, but I'm going to keep the flowery ones. So I will only list the ones that I'm keeping. So I'll list this bag. How many is in there? I think there's 25 of them in that bag. Tick, keeping them. And then I saw this little, little high, it's called a high pressure gun. And it's for your hose pipe. Now it's plastic with metal connections. Mm. So I assume that screws on here. It's supposed to be high pressure. We'll see, eh? That's plastic. Mm. So it's pretty much all plastic. Where does that go in there? <laughs> yes, James. <laughs> okay. So there it is. Right, next. <laughs> ah! A plug, UK plug, this version, with three USB slots in the back. Straightforward. No doubt it's only probably USB one or two. Who knows, who cares? It's for lights and things. But I needed that. So I got that. And then I saw this, and it's not something that I went looking for because I thought I needed it. Like a lot of the others, I go hunting because I think I actually need it. But I saw it, and for the money, I thought, I've got to order that and see what that's like. And it's a nice little first aid kit. Nice little first aid pouch. And it comes with some basic stuff. Now, it's got... Some sort of weird cheap plastic tweezers in. <laughs> um, looks like some tape to hold maybe the bandage still. And you've got a little bandage here. And that is five centimetre wide by four and a half metres. Uh, we've got a triangular bandage here in case you hurt your arm. What else we got in this little? I thought for the money, <laughs> we've got plaster, hmm. antiseptic swabs, just two, uh, some gauze, some sterile gauze, just two of them, a little pair of scissors. I mean, yeah, cheap, cheerful, but just enough to keep in a kit. We've got a mask. And we've got some basic little finger plasters. <laughs> now, for the money, I can't remember how much it was. It's all written in the description. But I thought I've got to order that just so I can see what comes in the kit. Because I thought it would be an empty bag. That's what I thought the money was but no it's got some bits in it <laughs> i mean no they're not super fabulous but it's just like a little kit that you could keep either in the car or even in one of your big handbags not sure what those tweezers would achieve but 
That's the little first aid kit. I thought that was quite cute. I'm keeping that. That's cute. I'll give it to one of the kids to put in their cars. Now, in my craft stash, I broke my, my pokey tool. And I saw this awl on Timu and I thought I'd get it. And it's just a simple awl with a stabby point so you can make holes before you say put a nail or a screw in that can help you do that or for me it's probably get used in the crafting because I broke mine the little needle thing comes out of its holder <laughs> so that goes in my little craft stash <laughs> then I went looking for a, a tissue box holder And I found this clear one. I love see-through things. And that's exactly what this is. Ta -da! It's a clear, transparent tissue box. Ta -da! Yes, no? How big is it? It is seven inch, seven inch wide by just over four and a half, say four and three quarters. And that's that. I like that. Because I thought the one I ordered, not, not last time, the time before, because I think last time I ordered a black one and that was for my laundry sheets. The time before that, it was a weird pink colour. <laughs> and then I found this one in clear to replace it. And I like that one. So that one is staying. What's this? Where's Slasher gone? Let me get rid of these bits. Get in there, get in the bin. <laughs> Think I've been good this time. No oils, no aromatherapy. There is a headband though. <laughs> about to say no headbands there is a headband I've just seen it <laughs> this is a desk tidy little plastic acrylic desk storage thing and even though I do want two I thought I'd order one just so I can see what it's like but I think that's gonna work because a lot of my stuff I've got like my stapler and all that sort of thing is in the clear acrylic. I like that. So I thought, I like it. I thought I'd get another one. I'm definitely going to get a second one to put so I can stand them side by side. But there's that. How tall is it? Let's see how fat it is first. It is six and a half inch by five and a half inch square. And the tallest pot is four and a half inch. And the shortest pot is about two and three quarter inch. Hmm, yep. Oh, I think it's got a denty corner. No. Or is that glue? No, it's got a smashed corner. Didn't see that, but yeah, it's got a smashed corner on this one. So I'll send this one back and then I'll order two. Because now I've seen it, I definitely want two of them. So we'll get that sent, one, sent back and then I'll order two of them. But yeah, I liked that. Other than the damage, but I did like it. Next. <laughs> I saw these and I thought, oh, they're so pretty and different. So I ordered them. And they're three little fake pots. And they got like little fuzzy balls. <laughs> but I thought they were so cute. Fuzzy balls. <laughs> what do you think? It's like white, navy, and burgundy colour, red. But 
Oh, I thought they could go on my stand. Ooh. Where to put them? I don't know where to put them. like him. <laughs> then I bought some gel pens. Great colours, aren't they? I think even though they're all pastels, I believe they're just black ballpoint inside anyway. What can I scribble on? Need some paper. Hold on, Trace, you got to take the little yeah, they're just black. It's got like a little funny that covered the end of the pen. <laughs> like to take that off. But yeah, very fine, very fine. Love them. Really fine tip. Let's try this one. Take the little wax bit off the end. Oh, they're so nice. They're really nice really fine tip on them and yeah they are all black nice they look nice in my see-through plasticky thing when it comes back always need pens and then whilst I was looking at pens I found this and it's a mirror pen they call it a mirror pen, but it's basically just, you can coat anything, but you can coat like a stone. And this one's gold. See, they call it a paint marker. And they do gold and silver. I think I've got the silver one coming, it just didn't come in time. So this is the gold one. always use those I use them for like um, if I've got a picture frame that's silver and it's got like a little chip in it or something then I touch it up so I touch up statues with it etc or if I'm crafting I use it or Christmas I use it a lot so I like I know the other one I had is finished so I thought while I'm at it Let's get a gold and a silver. And then I've got my phone, a new phone case. And it's black with a gold edge. And this one comes with a stick-on heart for the back. If I can get in. <laughs> so it's like a pop socket. But not a pop socket, obviously. And you can stick it on the back. Stick it on the back. Um, what is a bit annoying is the gold around the heart is like a yellow gold. And then the gold that's on the, on the actual case is like a champagne gold. They're kind of two different coloured golds, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> so I've got that case and I also bought a white case just so that I've got a little change and this one is white and gold and it's got a little gold heart on the back that's quite cute and they're for my iPhone I like both of those it's always worth getting your cases while you can before they stop doing them. <laughs> We're motoring through them. Next one. It's a t-shirt. I didn't mean to buy this t-shirt and it's not 
one like my stars hollow that I really, really wanted or anything, but I saw it and because the price was so low, I thought I can't resist that for that price. Because it was like two pounds something. And for a plus size t-shirt. I thought, good, even if I wore it to bed. <laughs> But I liked the scribbled heart. I love a scribbled heart. And it's black with pink. Two pounds something. It looks a little short. I like a really long t-shirt. But there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nice. That's staying. <laughs> Like it. We're getting there. <laughs> this one. This is another purse. I mean, I've got just a tiny, tiny little purse, like a little coin purse that hangs on a key ring, and I wanted one just slightly bigger. And I saw this because I've already got a new handbag that we did couple of hauls ago now I think so I've got a handbag and it's got like an inside key hook which I won't use that because all I want really is to put like a credit card in it a pound for the shopping cart and basic little purse and that's all it is And it's in a weird plummy colour, like Heather. I like it. Yep, that's a keeper. That'll get used. Used well. This one. Yeah, I bought this one. <laughs> no, I didn't buy it because I needed it. I bought it because it looked weird and I thought that can't work, can it? And it's a little dinky fruit machine that's for keeping. Ah, <laughs> oh, we got two lemons then. No! Bars! Wiener! <laughs> yeah. Silly stuff, but I like it. But I thought, oh, I think my son might like that. <laughs> So that's what I got. This one. Now this is, there's shades. And they're supposed to be able to go over prescription glasses. So let's try them out. They're a bit big. Whoa. Whoa, they're massive. Again. It's sticking in my hairband. Ha! Wow. Are they in properly? I think so. Let's take it all off. Yeah. It, it actually works. Two sets of glasses. That's the side. <laughs> I don't know how bad they look. But when your eyes need protection from, sun, from the sun, I don't care. They're massive, though. I feel a bit like an insect, you know, with big eyes, big bug eyes. <laughs> but I'm going to keep them. I like them. I like the fact that I can just put them over my prescription glasses. Nice. I like them. You see how they, they've got, like, little edges here and that would sit like on top of your glass frame so that they don't show hmm. and these are in purple obviously purple chase they do them in other colors massive like them <laughs> i'm gonna keep them they go in my handbag there's only a couple of more items to go we've nearly done it all and guess what these are Headband. It wouldn't be a haul without a headband. 
<laughs> now, all I'm doing is bumping up my colours. This is a dark green boho dotty headband. Let's take the pink one off. Dark green. Me bow ain't in the middle there. That's bugging me. <laughs> Shove it over. Comfy and I got two more. <laughs> and this is black with ditzy flowers, and this one's like a weird limey green with ditzy flowers. I didn't particularly want this one, but they came as a pair. I just wanted this ditzy flower one. I like that one, that, that one's comfy. I think I've got all of the colours now in that dotty one. <laughs> and this is the Ditsy Flower one. Did it? Yeah. What do you think? And then I've got this funny green one. Straight off. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> Yeah, that works too. <laughs> You'd have to have the right colour top on. That's it. <laughs> That's the end of the haul this time. Mm. Next haul. Next haul is definitely not in March. So the next one after this is April. Um, I don't know when it's coming. I haven't actually got a complete date on it yet. But... I'll post on Facebook or in the community tab and let you know when I'm going to be posting to, so we can all meet up and have a chin wag in the comments. If you don't mind liking and subscribing for me, that would be brilliant. <sighs> End of manicness. Now I've just got to go and play with it all and put it all away. So until next time. Look after yourself and be good and I'll see you later.